Bases loaded, two outs, 2-2 two -two tie. Base hit center field, and it'll allow Corey Lee to get to second. It's 4-2. One ball, no strikes on Lenin Sosa. That's a base hit. Hey, now. Two more come in. It's 6 to 2. Wow, what a turnaround. Lenin Sosa turns that ball around as well. An excellent job and excellent answer by the White Sox here in the top of the ninth. So Norby will dig in, riding a five game hitting streak with the Miami Marlins, hitting 300 with his new ball club. First pitch swing and Norby fly ball, deep right field, gives it a ride and a leadoff home run. What a start for Connor Norby in a Marlins uniform. And we've seen this ever since he's arrived. He has that ability to stay inside, drive the ball to right field, that one down the right field line with some power. Sanchez the batter. Hey, Sue Sanchez. And now Sanchez lifts a fly ball out towards center. It's carrying back goes Crow Armstrong and that one's gone. Second homer of the inning. A homer for Jesus Sanchez. His 16th of the season. The Marlins with a pair of solo shots here in the first. They've got a 2-0 lead. Jake is 3 for 3. He has scored once. He has a double and two singles. There he goes. The pitch is hit deep to right center field. Moving back is Soto. Looking up and it's gone. What a day for J.K. That's his fourth hit. This time a home run, a two-run shot. Nine to two Rockies. It'll be Alex Verdugo who has homered on the day. Soft liner, what a catch. Ryan McMahon showing his ups. And I'm looking at Alex Verdugo. He thought he had his, yeah, he himself did. a base hit. He is frustrated. Two gone in the ninth inning. Now bring up Trent Grisham. Strike three, ball game over. What a terrific afternoon in the Bronx for the Colorado Rockies. There's a fly ball deep to left off the bat of Zach Neto. That's out toward the Royals Hall of Fame and it's long gone. He crushed that baseball. What a swing by Zach Magneto. As the Angels are now threatening to add to their lead. First and second, nobody out. Here's a dump to right field, and that's a base hit for Ohapi. Around third, heading home is Shonowell. He'll make it to the plate. Over to third goes Pilar, and the Angels now have a 5-2 to two lead. That's a well-placed baseball. Infield is in. One out, runner at third. Lopez at the plate. There comes Adele. It's a squeeze. It's laid down perfectly, and Adele scores to make it 9-5 to five as Lopez. Lopez is thrown out. And you can't do a better job than Jack Lopez on that one. He is Taylor Walls now off the end of the bat and it hangs up a sliding catch made by Lawrence Butler. Broke back then came in recovered just enough to make a terrific play in right field. That's it. You know how room service works. It's now Daryl Hernandez in there the right handed bat against the lefty Springs. Instead, Darrell pokes the bat head out. It's dropping fast and will get down. Rounding third is Devin. Emart's going to wave him. The relay throw to the plate is late. And Darrell Hernandez takes second. But he's aboard with a two out single. Now Lawrence Butler. Cameron's running. Butler is taking. Brantley is not throwing. And a stolen base for Daz Cameron. Ground ball up the middle and through for a base hit. Cameron will come around. To score and Butler is two for two. The A's add another. It's three to nothing in the third. That's what I'm talking about. And the A's are able to push another run across here in the third with two outs. That's a big two out knock from the Law Dog. So now the Braves bring the infield in. Jackson deals again. That gets away from Murphy. And the Nationals are going to regain the lead on a wild pitch. It's two to one. That's a good effort by him, but it just just a huge miss by Luke Jackson. The infield stays in with Millis at third. Two to the count on Young. Line drive. It's fair. RBI hit for Jacob Young. He'll go to second with a double. And the Nationals now have a three to one lead. And Brian Snicker is going to go to the bullpen and bring in the lefty Aaron Bummer. First pitch coming home to Abrams. Ball is hit hard and that one eats up with Merrifield. Second one of the inning. Young will score and it's four to one Nationals. Bottom of the ninth inning. The Blue Jays coming up down by a run. Joey Loperfito is going to lead it off. High in the air to left center. Hit well. the game tied and Addison Barger up to the plate and Barger hammers it deep to right field and it's foul by me 
maybe <laughs> 10 feet. And now he swings at the next one and drives it. This one's going to stay fair. Ball game. Ball game. Addison Barger goes back to back with Joey Loperfino and the Blue Jays' young stars walk it off. 6 nothing lead for Paul Skeens now as he starts the sixth against Noel V. Marte. Strike three, 98, and that's eight. Here's an 0-2, swing and a miss, another strikeout. Nine strikeouts for Skeens. And India able to get just enough wood on it to pop it up, and Paul Skeens dominant again. Remarkable. A two-hit shutout through six. So, last man standing here, Wyatt Langford. That one flared into center field, base hit, and Wyatt Langford makes the Rangers a winner this afternoon. Oh, what a clutch base hit right there by the young rookie. Langford delivers after an afternoon of futility. Second hit with a runner in scoring position in this series for the Rangers, and it wins the game. Jason Foley takes over on the mound, bottom of the ninth inning, 5-2 Tigers. First pitch swing, fly ball right field side. Veerling is back at the warning track to make the grab for out number one on a long fly ball from Lenin Sosa. A long fly ball here from Baldwin, left center field. Meadows says it's his, and he tracks it to the dirt. Two down. Line drive out the middle, Kreidler. What a defensive ninth inning. Three baseballs zapped right at Tigers. It is a four pitch ninth inning and a save for Jason Foley. Here's the 0 2 to Noel V. Marte. Marte drives pretty deep right center. That's got some carry, and that is gone into the Reds' pen and caught by Alexis Diaz. And a bit of breathing room for the Reds. It's eight unanswered. It's eight to six. Jonathan India, RBI single, steal, and a run scored all in that fifth. Well hit, deep left, back to back. India rocks his 12. Nine unanswered runs by the Reds. But that's the third disengagement, so Ellie will be awarded second base. You got to get him if you're going to go over a third time. So it goes down as a balk. Well hit, just fair. Base hit. De La Cruz jogs around third. He scores. Stevenson up to second base. A just fair ribby double. Ten runs, ten hits for the Reds. Bases loaded, one out for St. Louis. 6-6 six, six game. Swing and a drive. Built to down the line. The ball is gone. What a grand finish in St. Louis tonight. A slam. here at Bush Stadium. Now it's Jose Siri. Well hit into left field. Back to back nights for Jose Siri and the Rays take a four to two lead. And lightning strikes twice here in Oakland. The pitch and back to back wins for the Rays here at the Coliseum as they throw a five hitter tonight and Jose Siri once again a game winning homer in the seventh inning. Pete Crow Armstrong will stand in. It'll be 8 9 and 1 here in the Cubs half of the third. Down 1 0. And PCA lines one to right, and it's past the outstretched glove of Sanchez. PCA on the move, racing towards third. Are they going to send him? Here it comes. PCA to the plate. And wow! Hey! Inside the park home run. Pete Crow Armstrong. Oh, brother. Can he absolutely fly? Him coming around second base, I thought he was absolutely flying. Willie Harris saw it. He didn't hesitate. And good luck. You're not going to see many inside park home runs like that right there, where that ball pretty much stayed close to the outfielder. But they say you can't outrun the baseball. PCA just did. In the air, that's well struck. Center field, Hill going back. Back some more near the wall, and that one is gone. Ian Happ will touch them all. And the Cubs have taken the lead. A couple of home runs, one inside the park, one out of the park. 3-1. It's one thing about facing major league hitters. If you keep in the same location, they just make you pay for it. You have to move it around the zone, and Ian Happ stays back on a breaking ball. Hammer time. That's down the left field line, base hit. Tyro Estrada comes through in the clutch. 
Yastrzemski scores and you hear all those Giants fans going nuts over it. Three to two Giants. And you just look at the hits nine to one just three to two the score. But you said it John you saw the take that Estrada had on the slider. He's picking Kirby up well right here. Yeah he's having a good game today. That one ripped down the right field line Yastrzemski. It's gone. Just over the wall it wouldn't come down. Mike Yastrzemski a low liner for his 10th home run of the year. It's four to two Giants. And how about that for shortest flight out of here. I mean that was out in the blink of an eye. There it is. Bugging. Leo Rivas everybody wins it for the Mariners six five and ten. Nicely done. Did you like how he shortened up on the swing there Mike. Want to put that a little bit right. That's right. Play pepper. Beautiful. Congratulations to Dan Wilson. Absolutely. First win. In the initial voyage of Dan Wilson as Mariners manager. Nice way to fight your way back into this game. Also scoring the runs, getting no six it. hits. And now here you go. Good for Dan. Good for the Mariners. They needed it. Ends a three game losing streak. Second win in the last 10 games. Alvarez swings and he drives one deep left center field. Mullins looks up and it's out of here. Alvarez swings 3 0 and he wins the game for New York with a walk off home run in the bottom of the ninth. First career walk off RBI for Francisco Alvarez and it was a bomb of a home run. 3 2 from Dominguez. And Wicker strokes one deep left center field. Back goes Mullins near the wall. McCarthy backing up, backing up, turning around. She's gone. Number 200 for Rafi Devers. Over the center field wall at Fenway Park. A three run shot here against Arizona as he touches home plate his 200. Right here, just does not get that ball to turn over like he wants to. He wants to get that sinker away going off the plate, leaves it out over. Rafi gets extended. Rafi always makes you pay. Wonderful moment for Rafi. Yeah, that's a huge moment. Ground ball. Abrams has it. Oh, oh, the oh, oh, let's go. Braves win it. <laughs> Somehow, some way, Atlanta shorthanded keeps getting it done. And he rates as one of the worst defenders at shortstop in all of baseball. Local kid, you see him look up. No need to check the runner. That throw is short and for Yepes fundamentally that's not Matt Olson out there trying to pick that ball. That was ugly and we'll take it. Nice win here tonight for the Atlanta Braves. As I always say even on the golf course you're better to be lucky than good. <laughs> take that one run with it. Perfect night. Great job by Chris Sale again. Four straight just awesome starts. Keep it rolling. Another low scoring nail biter but right now the Braves will take him any way they can get him. Walner right field and deep back it goes and gone three run homer for the pride of Forest Lake and the twins eviscerating the baseball here this one to right deep back it goes and gone on a cutter Trevor Lardick to center field deep back it goes Scott at the wall it is gone Trevor Lardick a two homer night. Junior to the middle slides stands throws him out. Whoa one shortstop to the other. Don't hit it near him. The one one. Melendez lifts it down the right field line hooking toward the corner. It's off the pole. Home run MJ Melendez. With a change of speed and then he caught it right out in front and hooked the pole. Oh. Well hit. This ball may be out of here. It is. And listen to this crowd. Oh man, that is in his wheelhouse. He absolutely destroys pitches down there. Brofar in the air to left. 
Margo will run out of room and it's gone! A home run! And the Padres are back in front six to five. Can you honestly say you're surprised? Grounded softly. Musgrove will put up glove to glove. Nicely done by Joe Musgrove. Go glove to glove. No time for anything else. High drive. Deep right field. Merrill. Madness. Walk off. And Petco. Padres win it. 3-2. Unbelievable. Jackson Merrill with his second walk-off home run of the year. Here we go, Gino with the bases full. A chance to blow this thing open right here. Suarez hits oh. a fly ball, left field, and that one is gone into the monster seats for a grand slam. Well, as they like to say it here, he hit that thing wicked far. Nine grand slams by the Diamondbacks this year. That leads the major league. Hit it high in the air to left field. That's a little cutter that just didn't cut. Stayed right there over the plate for Gino. Inning set up now with nobody out. Big Christmas at the plate. Oh, baby. High and deep and way out of here. Big Christmas with a three run homer. Blows it open, and the Guardians' lead is seven to one. High fly ball. Deep right field. Garcia back on the track at the wall. Goodbye. Home run number 33 for Jose Ramirez. And it's now 10 1 Cleveland. That one is not foul. It is long gone. Home run number 28 for Josh Naylor. Back to back jacks for Cleveland here in the sixth. Bo Naylor booms one in deep right field and goodbye. That's his 10th home run of the season. Fourth home run of the night for Cleveland. The bottom half of the ninth. Here's Yiner Diaz. Yiner hits one high. Ball game over. Jordan said something to Yiner on his way back to the dugout. And Yiner crushed one for the winner. Hey, bartender. I need a little extra in this one. That is a beautiful Yiner bomb. Yiner Diaz connects on a big fly for an Astros walk off. What a finish. The only time the Astros have led tonight. First and second nobody out now for Reese Hoskins. And the Brewers set up now for a potential big inning. Reese Hoskins with two strikes delivers a three run blast. And now here's Joey Ortiz and still nobody out in the inning. Back to back. The Brewers up four to one. One away now for Jackson Churio. It's a five run second inning. Well, that brings up Jackson Churio. Churio into second base. He's got an RBI double. The Brewers lead it six to one. The ball is one strike. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Swing and a fly ball. Oh my goodness Get gracious. It. That is a grand yeah. slam. Are you kidding me? Now this is the Oriole team from last year. So many times we thought, okay, they're out of it. There's no way. It's not going to happen. One of the best pitching staffs in baseball. And Santander in one swing has given the Orioles a one-run lead. And a high fly ball deep down the left field line toward the pole. It is gone! Three-run home run for JT. The homerless drought is over. And the Phillies lead it five to one. Well, that is more like it. This is exactly what you do when you're up in the count, especially do we believe it was a 3-0 pitch. He gets a fastball in the inside part, and he hammers it. JT lifts one to deep left center field, and that one is gone! At the foot of the fountains, it's another three-run home run for Real Muto. It's an 8-2 ball game. That is what I'm talking about, Tom. Nothing like a couple of three-run home runs. Talk about getting your timing back, huh? He's a 4-3 lead. Series finale as we stretch in the Bronx. Here's Juan Soto. High fly ball, deep right field off the bat of Soto. There it goes. See ya. Into the bleachers, a long home run. And the Yankees lead 5-3. to three. Here's Judge. Can they go back to back?
So the two of them have gone back to back now six times. Tied for the most in franchise history with Damon and Teixeira did in 2009. 50 and 51 on the same day, and he goes back to back. Dynamic duo with Soto. That one is drilled deep to center field. Doyle back, still back, track wall. See ya. Oh ho ho! Into Monument Park, putting on a show. Back to back to back. Muncie bends back out of the way of ball four. That'll load him up for Old Tony. And it's his turn to try and put on a cape. The situation that everybody dreams of, Shohei Otani is living here tonight. Do you have the call ready? I'm thinking about something like 40 40. Fly ball, right center field. Series going back. He's at the track. He's at the wall. 40 40. Walk off grand slam. No way. What a moment. History. It's good. Shohei Otani joins the 40-40 club in the most grand fashions. A walk-off grand slam.